Well, it, it's both, I would say, in the sense that it's a clever ruse because on the one hand it's what she needs to get through to convince the European Council she's done enough to get the extension she needs till May. On the other hand, what she'll also do, I suspect, in Parliament today is point out that Labour agree with the withdrawal agreement. Labour have said they don't have a problem with that document. Uh, most of the problems, indeed all the problems the official Labour Party have come up with for her deal relate to the future relationship. So she's hoping that by separating the two she could make that case quite clearly that whatever you want to do with the future you have to pass this withdrawal deal so why don't you just vote for this and then we can, we can alter the declaration on the future. The Labour opposition party they've said over the last 24 hours they don't like to see these two things split up. They have like to quote the Prime Minister's previous statements on the fact that this comes as a package. Mm -hmm. Is there, in your view, a justification, whether it's political, factual, legal, for them to vote against today's motion? Well, there's obviously a political justification, which is, I think, you know, the Labour opposition smell blood. They think if they can vote this down, they might have the scent of a general election because the Prime Minister looks very, very insecure in her position. Whether there's an actual substantive case for it I'm not so sure because this is the by the, the two parts of the deal are the withdrawal agreement which is legally binding and the political declaration which isn't so in that sense the only part of the deal that the European Union is going to ratify is the withdrawal agreement so the Prime Minister does have a point but the Labour Party are well within their rights to make life difficult for her because that's their job so when you look at the breakdown in party discipline over the last few months where we have Conservative MPs voting against propositions put forward by the government and the likelihood today that Conservative MPs will vote against this effort by Theresa May to put forward the withdrawal agreement, the divorce settlement, that lack of discipline also extends to the Labour Party to some extent. And I'm just wondering if you've been crunching the numbers and looking at where there may be a majority for this today, is it a possibility, do you think? It's hard to see, to be honest, because as of now, and of course things change very quickly, the Democratic Unionist Party, the Northern Ireland Party, have said they intend to vote against this deal. All sorts of rumours swirling around that they're going to change their minds or that talks are underway. Unless they swap sides, then I think it's going to be very hard for the Prime Minister. And even if they do, she will need a significant number of Labour MPs, somewhere in the region of 20 probably. And at the moment it looks like she's only on course to get three or four. What is happening is a Labour MP called Lisa Nandy is attaching an amendment today which says we want Parliament to have a binding vote on whatever trade negotiations take place after. So it's an explicit attempt to address the fear of the Labour Party that if we, if we sign this off, a right-wing Tory government will go and negotiate trade. So it gives Parliament control over the next phase. If that passes, they might be in with a chance. So this is a proposition, an amendment, we call it here, whereby another meaningful vote will be given to Parliament on the future relationship between the UK and the EU. When we get there, which is after we've left the European Union, Parliament then has to start the very lengthy process of negotiating a trade deal with the European Union. You said that there's the scent of a general election in the air from the Labour position. Do you think that is a strong scent right now? Yes. I mean, the danger with saying that is that there's been a strong scent for ages. I mean, our politics looks like it's teetering. but. Uh, the, the Prime Minister, as you said, is losing the support of elements of, our, of her own party. And so it's not inconceivable that in the weeks to come, if the Labour Party put forward a vote of no confidence, some Conservative MPs might work, vote with them just to get rid of this Prime Minister and this government. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.